Turtle Beach has been making some of the best gaming headsets around for years, and now the company's starting to branch out, specifically into Apple territory. This is the Ear Force i60, and it's designed to be the all-in-one mobile media headset for Apple fans. It does everything. Let's take a close look. We already pulled this sleeve because honestly, it takes too long. It's the only bad part of the unboxing experience, though. Everything else has that great Apple feel. The box has a nice magnetic clasp on it, and then once you fold it open, everything's set up in layers on cutout foam. This is a pretty nice little carrying case. We'll look at that in a moment. The earphones, which you might notice look a lot like the Step Down i30. We'll get into that in a moment. And then down below this stuff, we've got a very Apple-looking control module. And then some accessories, quarter inch adapter, got an airline adapter, headphone charging cable, this is the USB cable for the transmitter, and finally, uh, standard headphone cable. If I spent $300 on these headphones, I want to get a nice out-of-box experience, and Turtle Beach is delivering that. I mean, this is a really nice headphone case. It's really soft suede on the outside. It's kind of satiny on the inside. And it's, it's heavy, but uh, not overly heavy. I mean, it's just, it feels great. Now, if you're the kind of person who just throws away the manual, don't. You are going to need this thing. I mean, there are so many features and components. Uh, you're going to need to take a few minutes to figure these things out. So this is the control module slash transmitter. Now based on all those instructions that we saw earlier, you'd think that it would just work with a Mac, but it turns out you can use it with your PC as well. This connects to your Mac via USB and uh, it helps you control the surround effects. You press this button, it'll cycle through different surround effects. Uh, this is a chat volume. Uh, you can also, also mute the microphone that way. And then this is your, your overall game or media volume control. This also transmits via Wi-Fi instead of Bluetooth. That means that you get higher resolution audio. It also allows for the transmission of the surround sound signal. Speaking of surround sound, this is a DTS Headphone X compatible headset, which means that soon there's gonna be media available that will provide a pretty impressive surround sound experience. What you see here are a bunch of buttons, but that means that there's a bunch of features to go through. So let's do that. First, you can just power them on here with the power button and a little voice will let you know that they're powering on. And then once it pairs with Bluetooth, it'll give you a notification there. After that, you've got a little rocker switch here, which will go through all your audio presets. There's flat, bass boost, treble boost, and then a bass and treble boost. Below that is a mic setting. It lets you change the way your voice sounds to the person on the other end of the phone. So you can have a, a normal sound or you can have a high morph or a low morph or reverb effect. It's a, a little bit of a carryover from Turtle Beach's gaming headsets. And it's kind of funny at first, but I don't really know how practical it is. Over on the other side here, this is the mute microphone button, and apparently that's its single function. Over here, we've got a simple volume up and down with any of your Bluetooth paired devices. And here's your Bluetooth button, which uh, pulls double duty. It'll also call up Siri for you or attempt a redial of the last number called. I wore these for a couple hours today here in the office, and the passive noise isolation is, is great. They don't have active noise canceling, but they definitely cut out plenty on their own. They felt great, nice and soft on the ear pads and the headband, never caused any ear sweats. In terms of sound quality, I was able to pair these to my uh, iPhone via Bluetooth, but I wasn't able to do the whole uh, Wi-Fi surround sound thing just yet. We're gonna have to wait and see how that plays out in the full review. Otherwise, though, I'm feeling really good about this headset. Pretty pricey at 400 bucks, but they do offer a lot, and I think the uh, Apple fans are going to love them.